Namaste, Walikum Aslam and welcome back. Namaste means that which is good in me bows to that which is good in you. I don't think I have much goodness in me, but I'm trying to bring out whatever good in you know, good is there in me. Uh, one way of bringing out whatever good I have in me is to engage with all of you by reading out poetry. I believe poetry is a force which gives you a strength to keep going at a time when people are beginning to lose hope. We all are locked in our home since last almost two months and we are waiting for this COVID-19 to go away or at least a bit so that we could resume our normal lives. But at the same time, we have to be practical, we have to be uh, aware of the fact that science doesn't have answer to this disease. This lockdown could be prolonged. So why shall we lose hope? We should never lose hope. Socrates said that a man could live eight days without food, four days without water, a couple of minutes without air, but not a single second without hope. So at this time, the most important thing that we have to do is to sustain ourselves by telling ourselves that no matter what happens, we will see ourselves on the other side of this pandemic and we will emerge far more stronger. To move is to stir and to be valiant is to stand. Gregory says this in one of my favorite plays by Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet. We have to keep moving, we have to stir and we have to be valiant, we have to stand. We simply cannot afford at this moment to lose hope and to let lethargy set in. The reason I have decided to read out poetry to all of you, all those who are my virtual friends on Facebook, is to not only engage with all of you, but also to give in my way, in a small way, hope and I'm repeating this word again and again because this four-letter word is the most important word. It should be the catchphrase during this time. The poem that I'm going to read out today is again by Vikram Seth as I did in my last uh, video. This is the second time I'm shooting a video. The reason I'm choosing on Vikram Seth as I mentioned is because he is not a very difficult writer. He says beautiful things in very simple language. The name of the poem I'm going to read today is called Rocking Horse. It's a beautiful poem at multiple levels. I'm not going to give interpretation of this poem for the simple reason because I belong to T.S. Eliot school of thought. T.S. Eliot used to say that it totally depends on a reader what meaning he or she wants to read into a piece of poetry. In 1928, T.S. Eliot was invited to Oxford University to deliver a lecture. He refused. He said that I will not come and deliver a lecture, but if I am asked to engage with his students, question and answer, then I will come. The Oxford University accepted his condition and he was asked to come. He came and addressed undergraduate students. So one of the students asked the meaning of a particular line in one of his poems, and T.S. Eliot said, this is what it means. And the uh, student was confused and he said, but what does it mean? He said, this is what it means. The meaning of T what T.S. Eliot said was that it totally depends on you what meaning you want to read into a piece of poetry. It depends on your experience. We all interpret a piece of poetry or novel, prose or anything through our experience. So I'm not going to give you interpretation of this po uh, poetry by Vikram Seth. But I have to mention one very important thing. This poem which I have chosen is in a way related to our concept of time. One very important thing that I would like to mention before I read this poem out to all of you is that the concept of time in Western philosophy and Eastern philosophy is very different. In Western philosophy, time is considered to be linear. It progresses from one point to another point. But in Eastern philosophy, time is cyclical. It moves in cycle. It goes up, it comes down. So in West, you have a uh, theory of history, which means a study of past. But in East, history, itihas, doesn't mean a study of past. It means a study of something which is gone by to understand present so that we could interpret future in a better way. The reason I uh, uh, told all of you the concept of uh, time, uh, two different concepts, because I believe when you read this poem, when you listen to this poem, it is very important to keep in this mind 
that what time means and how shall you interpret it. Here is the poem, I hope all of you enjoy. <coughs> the name of the poem, as I said, is Rocking Horse by, T, uh, by Vikram Seth. Now there is something, something Waterloo and something Trafalgar, and it is far too sunny nowadays, too sunny, yes, by far. And all I really want to do is ride a camel through the Kalahari Desert and across the Great Karu. Oh, the confidence of houses with a rocking horse or three. Oh, the ducks and coops that swim across a blue infinity. Oh, the dry rot and wet rot and the loneliness of beams and the empty bath and gutter and the solid stuff of dreams. Now the afternoon is burning and it must be half past three and Mama is getting restless, but that doesn't bother me. And Papa is fighting France today unless he is fighting Spain and I'm three or thirty which I will never be again. And the day is past and passing, and the afternoon is hot, and it is something, something Waterloo, unless, of course, it is not. And it is tugging of the forelock or the foreskin to the squire, and the people down from London, and the gentry of the shire. And the music, 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 and the trees and trees and trees, and the duty to one's neighbors, and the conquest of the seas, and this little nook of England and this heritage so rare and the universe goes onwards and it doesn't really care. But it's 9 to 6 for 7 and it is 70 to 3 and it is 9 to 4 against us and it is getting late for tea. But the fig tree has the oak tree in an afternoon of fear and the rocking horse is sinking and the jockey is in tears. And the afternoon is fading and the tapestry is torn and the universe is dying and the option is worn. But I love to sing regardless and I will sing until I drop but now the song is over and I don't know how to stop and I am something something singing in a something something song and you are very very welcome to keep mum or sing along but my baby brother is crying and the mercury is high so until tomorrow afternoon I have to say goodbye. Thank you so very much for watching me and I hope all of you are doing good during these times. Thank you.